Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and kimonos are very easy to make. It's a matter of sewing some rectangles together, and I have some scrap fabric left over from a project, and it's this cute little designs of some karate kids. So I'm going to make a small child's kimono, and this will fit probably a three to four year old. Let's get started. To start with, you're gonna need two fronts and a back. The fronts, 11 inches by 25 inches, and the back is 14 inches by 25 inches. Now this size can vary depending on how tall the child is and how large the child is. If he's a little older, well, you can make it a little bit bigger. You just need to have a comfortable circumference around the child's waist and enough room that the kimono can overlap. The next thing are going to be sleeves. And because I'm using leftover fabric, I needed to cut four sleeves instead of two. So I'm going to have four pieces of fabric, 12 inches by 17 inches. So you have the back and we have two fronts that are going to be able to overlap. We need to just make a little bit of a neck band. And to do that neck band, measure over three inches, measure down about 10 inches, trim that triangle off and repeat it for the other side. And once those triangles have been cut out, you're going to be able to sew the top seams together. And with the fabric's right side touching, the top shoulders need to be stitched. And do a finished seam. So you could do a zigzag or something to finish it off so it doesn't ravel. And when the seams are done, press the seams so that the back is flat. The seam is going up to the front. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shape the back of the neck and a little bit of the front of the neck. So take the kimono and fold it in half and you have the fold in the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to shape the neckline. So here's the fold of the back, and here's the piece that we cut out of the front, that triangle. So to start with, measure a half an inch down from your seam line. And from there, you need to make a nice, slight curve coming into the front. So I've done a gentle curve, and I've blended it right into that neckline. And cut that piece out. So you'll be cutting the two layers together. So you'll have this nice little curve. The next we're going to do a little rolled hem. And that is going to start right from that point that we cut. And to do a rolled hem, you're going to take it and you're going to roll it on itself a quarter inch, press it, turn it one more time over top of that seam, press it, and then stitch down. And once those fronts have been done, we're going to finish this neckline. Start with a wide piece of fabric. This one is about four inches. You could do four and a half if you're going larger, and you can even go smaller, whatever's comfortable for you. And you're going to need this measurement plus a little bit. And press it so that the wrong sides are inside and the good sides are facing out. And stitch down all the way coming right back off the end. Now to decide where you're going to put the seam here, it's going to be easy. Just take the fabric and fold it on itself. And it's going to stop right where the front of the little kimono starts and the white ends. And that is going to be the line that you are going to want to sew. I just like to press it with my fingers so I know where that seam is going to be. And I do it to both sides. The next we're going to sew that seam together. So fold it along that first press line that you did. And you're going to be able to take this edge and move it out of the way. And stitch following that finger press line. And then take it and fold it so the right sides are showing. And to sew the rest of this down, you're just going to take this back seam and you're going to press it into that band. And then you're going to fold that down, whatever that seam allowance is, and top stitch 
all the way and that's going to get both sides of the band. And when you come to that little part in the back of the neck, you're going to be able to snip the seams so that fabric is going to lie nice and flat underneath that band. And as the back is stitched down, you can stitch all the way around and it gives it a nice top stitched look. And when the collar is sewn on, it's going to have this little point that sticks out. And when this is closed, you're going to have that nice kimono shape. Now we need to add the sleeves. Kimono sleeves are long and narrow, but a portion of the bottom is not attached to the garment. So it is actually open. And that's where it looks like you have that little flap in the bottom of the kimono sleeve. So the first thing we need to do is sew the top of the sleeve together. If you do have directional fabric, make sure it's going in the right way. Sew the top seam, finishing the edge, just like you did the top of the sleeve of the kimono. And you're going to press the seam in the opposite direction as you did for your shoulder. You now will be able to match up the top seams and you're going to be able to sew the sleeve onto the body. You only need to sew a portion of it. So from the shoulder down, seven inches. So you're going to have seven inches going to the front and seven inches going towards the back. So you'll notice that the sleeve has not been attached all the way onto the body. And we'll get to that next. But what we need to do is we need to finish off the seam on the side. Just like you did this seam where you did the rolled hem, you need to do a rolled hem here. Roll it over a quarter inch, another quarter inch, and stitch down. When this edge has been done, turn the garment so it's right sides touching each other, and we're going to stitch the sleeve. Take the body of the kimono and move it out of the way. You're going to put your needle right in that area that you stopped. You stopped at that seven inch mark. You're going to put your needle back in that seven inch mark, going through both layers of fabric. Go down and then across the bottom. And again, just do a zigzag or whatever you're doing to finish your edges. And in order to sew the side seam, take the seam allowance and just push it towards the sleeve. You want to make sure the back and the front are both being pushed over to the sleeve and pin it out of your way. Then you're going to be able to take the sleeve, move the sleeve out of the way and start right in that stitch just like you did the sleeve. Start right in that same stitch that you left off and stitch all the way down and again zigzag and finish that seam. And here's a close-up. So the seam has started right where the seam has left off and I've gone all the way down by moving the seam allowance out of your way. And when that's done, we need to just put a little snip here. That snip is going to go through the seam allowance right to that point where you stopped and started your stitching. And it's going to go through the sleeve and it's also going to go through the body. And by doing that, it's free to move and be more comfortable. The snip seam is right in there. To press this, press the seam towards the sleeve. Turn everything right side out and give it a press. And now that the sleeves and the side seam have been done, you need to just put a hem up. You can do a rolled hem if you don't have that much material and you want it nice and long, or you can do a two inch hem, one inch hem, whatever you feel comfortable doing or whatever you want the size to be. With the hem done, the kimono is now ready. We now need to do a belt for the kimono. The belt sizes are going to vary. A traditional kimono has a belt that wraps around twice. You start with the front, it goes around to the back, comes back to the front and ties. So depending if you want the double belt or just a single belt that you're going to tie it like a house coat. That will depend on the size that you're going to need. So I'm going to use the longest piece of fabric I have, which happens to be 50 inches. And I've cut it at four and a half inches. Right sides together, stitch all the way around, leaving an opening, and then turning the belt right side out. When it's turned right side out, you can tuck in a corner and top stitch all the way around. 
it will match the top stitching on the top of the kimono. The strap is done. To do the double tie, what you would do is you would put it on the front first, wrap it to the back, and then tie it into the front. We now have one finished little child's kimono. Children kimonos are so fun to make because you can use so many different novelty fabrics and you can even mix and match your fabrics. If you only have scraps, you could do each piece a different color and well, it would be a fun project to do. And that is your basic kimono pattern. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.